Well, I think I said the other day we're pretty hard on, on garden carts. So there's our, uh, there's our garden cart in action. Got chainsaw, gas fuel, got some chokers and chains and chain binders in there. Dee Dee's running support for me for moving a bunch of brush and stumps and stuff around. Time for some maintenance on the tractor. We've uh, had it for, uh, it must be going on four years because we put about 100 hours a year on it and uh, over 400 hours on it, so. Um, I started to smoke a little bit. I put a new air filter in there. It seemed to clear that up. I think it was just a uh, dirty air filter, not giving it the right mixture on startup. Um, but need to do a little maintenance on it, grease everything up again and make sure she's running like a top. I was blowing through a bunch of thick, heavy brush the other day and it kind of wadded the hood up a little bit. I think I might have busted at that time. I don't know, maybe a different time. Uh, but my fuel gauge <laughs> is gone. Uh, there must be a little magnetic sender or something that goes to that little guy because uh, it's popped out. Maybe I'll come across it somewhere. I don't know. Can't say enough about having some uh, equipment uh, running around the property here. Uh, just some of the things that we do just wouldn't be possible without it. So i um, been very thankful to be able to have a tractor uh, and now a uh, garden uh, lawnmower uh, to be able to get some stuff done. So very thankful for that. Makes it a lot easier on my old broken spine. So as you can see, I have a lot of work to do in here. The windows need a lot of TLC. Uh, however, I don't want to be too rough on them because the panes are held in by a material that I'm not 100% certain what it is. It kind of almost looks like plastery type material. I don't believe it's caulking. Um, However, when you remove that, obviously the little individual panes just kind of want to fall out. So we're going to try and be careful to keep that from happening and remove as much of the loose material as possible from around each of the little panes. And then I can come back with caulking and make it look really pretty. Um, but to start with, I don't want to destroy any of the window. So our cabin was built in the 1950s. Um, obviously these aluminum windows are not original to the cabin. However, these little wooden paned windows are original to the cabin. So they're pretty old. The wood is pretty dry, brittle-ish. So I want to clean them up in a way that is not going to destroy them. I think trying to do something like pressure washing would be way too rough on them and it would just probably make a mess of the wood. So we're going to clean them up and as gentle of a way as possible, and then we are going to beautify them so that they can continue to live on. The door. Days without water along the sun so grown. We cross over borders to get where we are. And it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, nights without sleep. It's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. Quite that much. It's so <laughs> it is a beautiful evening. 
Uh, okay, so what we are doing, what I've been working on is we have a lot of really big rocks. One could even say almost boulders in our yard. And I've hand dug up a lot of them, but you know, I want to be able to keep my arms and shoulders intact and not have to have surgery anytime soon. So I've dug up as many as a, of them as I can. And then the really big ones, I'm going to go around with the tractor, the little teeth on the front. What are those little things? Teeth? Oh, the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> the little teeth on the front of the tractor bucket. I'm just going to use like the one on the very edge to just kind of pop them up and out. The reason we are doing this is because when we come here through here with the riding lawnmower, we do not obviously want to bend up the blade and all of the stuff underneath. So a little bit more cleanup. We've done so much cleanup in this general area. We're pretty much all over the property. If you're a long time viewer, you've seen what the property looked like when we first moved here. So we've done a ton of cleanup. We still have a little left. Um, so I am going to be going around and popping up those rocks just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will come back around with the either the tractor bucket um, or the lawnmower and the cart and I'll just pick them all up and get them out of the way so that we're nice and smooth so that we can mow and the reason I want to do it right now is because the sun has been shining but we haven't had that much rain so the grass is not going crazy yeah. yet so before the grass starts going and crazy it's starting to dry out just enough I, I walked over here in my tactical crocs so um, just hopped from mud puddle to mud puddle and uh, my feet didn't get wet, so we're starting to dry out, thankfully. Yeah, we picked up a hitchhiker. <laughs> yeah, we always have a little hope from our friends. We tore out a ton of stumps last year. We rented, rented an excavator and uh, kind of destroyed slash fixed the property. <laughs> yeah. But it still needs a lot of help. We got to do we got to do a bunch of leveling. Um, years ago when they did some work on the cabin, they cut down some of the trees on this property. And I believe they used them also for the house across the creek. And they had a sawmill up here. They milled them up to use. However, that left a lot of just stumps everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then when we came onto the property, we took down how many standing dead, would you say? A lot. Like 15? Yeah. Uh, more than that. Probably. 15 to 20, like 20 standing dead, all just in this general small area probably 20 big ones and a whole bunch of small ones yeah so there's just a lot of stumps everywhere so uh i want to say about a year and a half ago we rented an excavator and we piled up all of those stumps we've been working on burning them and getting rid of those slash piles um, over the last couple of years or last year and a half or so so we've gotten rid of most of the slash piles um but we just have the residual cleanup that needs to happen now um so lots of like leveling lots of rocks to dig out that have kind of been exposed so, roots and stuff so just kind of a lot of general cleanup yeah. and we've done a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot but right. there's still some to do yeah there's a giant burn pile behind us here we're working on whittling that thing down and we've made a lot of headway on that there's another one over there that we uh, were working on this last year and finally we're working on the big behemoth one here making some headway so if you're newer to our channel i suggest um if you want to go back and specifically watch a video, I think it's titled, We Bought a Cabin. And you'll be able to see what the property mm -hmm. looked like yeah. and what the cabin looked like when we initially purchased it rough. about four and a half years ago. Very rough. Very rough. So we've done a lot of work. If you doubt that, go back <laughs> and watch that video and yeah. see just how much work we've done over the last four and a half years. So anyway, it's a good one. We'll throw an I card up. Uh, for that if you want to take a look. Ready to do some digging? Yeah. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope
Got it. Yeah, that's the type of rock I'm talking about. I do not want to hand dig those out. So we are working on smoothing and shaping the property. Uh, we'd like to get it to where it's easily mobile with the uh, garden lawnmower rather than a giant brush hog, uh, just for, for easy everyday mowing. Um, yeah. So brush hog is really great for brush hogging and it does okay, like mowing this area, but it does tear up the ground a lot. You can't really back up with it. It, it kind of tears up the grass and stuff. So if we ever want to keep the grassy parts nice and just mowable and not just have it be a barren dirt land, then we need to uh, be able to go over this with a regular lawnmower so we're not tearing it up every time we go over it. And I think this year is the year we'll get there. We'll actually have a lawn. We will have a lawn. <laughs> So we're gonna got a bunch of work to do and uh hey buddy oh what well. always tail right in the picture all right so <laughs> we got a bunch of work to do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oliver's tail is gonna stand in for me yeah <laughs> got a bunch of work to do still grading and, and leveling everything cleaning up the big rocks and the and the uh stumps that are that are left here but uh, we're we're making some good headway all right, so I have been doing a lot of work on the window greenhouse. I have been cleaning the windows and the last clip you saw, I might have been using this bad boy, which resulted in a lot of thumb knuckle pain and shoulder fatigue, which is fine. However, what I've been working most recently with is this bad boy. <laughs> which is just so much easier. So I did the entire outside, scrubbed down all the windows that are like uh, chipping and just really disgustingly mildewy or dirty. I've gotten the entire outside of the window greenhouse done in probably like a quarter of the time that it took me using this bad boy. So I highly recommend this if you have any scrubbing jobs that you need to do, or if you suffer from shoulder or elbow pain, from repetitive motion. This is not an infomercial, nor are we being paid for this. I just really like this thing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yes, this works really well. So I did the entire outside of the window greenhouse. The only thing that we have left to do is the wall behind Robert. So there's three windows, uh, four or five windows left. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do, and I need to do that all in one day, because I need to move the plants and the little heater to this side do those windows and then move everything back so I can plug everything back in so they're happy at night because we are still getting down into the high 20s low 30s at night so we're not quite warm enough for this space to function without the little heater right now so yeah did you know that our greenhouse was autographed autographed who autographed yeah. it Dewey Dewey what the heck Dewey You didn't notice that when you were scrubbing it? I did notice it, but I didn't see that it actually spelt anything. Because how my mind works is like, oh, Friday. And then it just proceeded on. So yeah, I wonder if that was when, like, when we first came to the cabin, the first time we saw it, like, the cabin was in such rough shape that the door didn't even close all the way. He could just walk right inside. So I'm wondering if Dewey came in and left his mark. <laughs> So that is where we're at with the window greenhouse. I am going to, when I have Robert here for a day, I'm gonna have him help me swap all the plants out. I'm gonna finish up the scrubbing. I will not make you watch that because this is not that fun watching somebody scrub windows. Um, but then after that, I can start working on more of the caulking of all the seams and painting. Then we'll be ready for paint, which is about the right timing because we're getting to that time of year where we're drying out a little bit, we're having a little bit more sun. So we'll be ready for paint. So that's pretty exciting. I'm kind of blown away by uh, how well your plants are liking this. Little... Greenhouse and the greenhouse? Yeah, they're loving it. Holy smokes. Look at the rainforest in here. smells so good. This mint, no joke, has like doubled in size since we put it here a week ago. This is apple mint, we have strawberry mint, orange mint, and chocolate mint. <laughs> he really just can't stand the fact that he's not in here with us. He stands at the door and cries. 
He stands at the door and cries, like, when I come in here and I'm just in here for a couple of minutes. I don't want him to get locked in here, obvious reasons, because it's too hot in here during the day. And now, he, he, now his brother wants cries. up to... And put he, that ladder there. Nope, it there you me. go. Oh, boy. And one of them will sit down. It's so funny when their little chubby butts, like, sit on it. How the heck did they get in there? <laughs> I can't have them not being right with us. Look at when they sit down their little chubby butts. Garden is still a little bit uh, wet, a little too wet to do anything at the moment. Um, talked about maybe doing some additional raised beds back here this year, maybe with some cinder block, since that's about the only building material at the moment that hasn't tripled in price. <laughs> so. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll kind of kick that around. Maybe maybe upgrade some some of the beds at the back of the garden this year. Um, other than that, we're kind of just waiting for the, for the mud season to end so we can get in here and start doing some work. Yeah, it's still have piles of rock pretty much everywhere. So definitely might be doing some more rock work this year. I've dug out and moved around hundreds and hundreds and hundreds <laughs> and hundreds of pounds of rock last year. Uh, but... You know, we made a lot of beds out of them and stuff. So yeah, it'll be fun and I'll probably move more rock this year and make more things out of it. And we just kind of had thrown up a, uh, just a temporary T-post fence with some wire up top for the deer. I'd like to come in. I, I really enjoyed doing that wattle fence this last year. I'm considering doing, um, maybe not a wattle fence, but a wood fence just out of the sticks and, and um, uh, trees and stuff around here. Maybe doing cedar posts again. Uh, we got a cedar, tree that's dying down at the corner i might lop that off and use the top half as another post and then maybe do uh you know kind of some branches in between with slats so still kind of stewing over that my every time i drive by that wattle fence i really like it though so i'm thinking about making something maybe a little more natural uh for around the garden as well yeah i think it'll look really lovely all right guys thank you so much for joining us we really appreciate you being here and we hope that you have a fantastic day see ya hey darling can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty